All right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. Well, when you're fighting this guy, DC, you know as well as anyone, it makes for a suffocating night at the office. Here he is, Khabib Nurmagomedov, putting his status as one of the best fighters on the planet on the line yet again tonight. He does it every time he steps foot in the octagon. And when they say it's suffocating, they talk about the strength of Habib. Even our teammates say, it does not feel like you're going with a lightweight. You right. feel like you're fighting a light heavyweight. And what do you expect from a guy that spent his childhood wrestling with Bear? <laughs> he is so strong. He's so physical in the hard work and the intensity of which he trains with only shows when he steps foot in the octagon. One of the most skilled guys the UFC has ever seen. We always talk about the wrestling and the grappling and the sambo, right. but don't sleep on Habib Nurmagomedov striking. And we saw shades of that in the McGregor fight. Javier Mendez says at times he likes to go southpaw in training. He can't hold you down. Ah, he can't hold me uh, down, but it's okay. Sure. It's okay. You can't win them all, Habib. <laughs> Ah, yes, the sweet science. This guy could have been a professional boxer, probably a world champion if he so chose. He loves the MMA game, but his boxing is certainly his bread and butter. I mean, a guy that was on par to make an Olympic team, and that is in one specific skill set. When you reach that level, when you're winning the national championship, and you're about to go to the Olympics, but you choose a different avenue. Yeah. You decide you want to fight mixed martial arts. It's truly something special. He has the most educated jab I have ever seen in the octagon. He throws the jab. It always comes back to the face. It never goes to the hip. And if you rush him, if you rush him, he has an ability to switch stances from conventional to southpaw and land a great counter right hand that will put your lights up. Better jab than your guy, Rosendo Sanchez. Oh, or it's no? unbelievable. He puts Rosendo Sanchez to shame. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC Heavyweight Division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of. 29 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib the Eagle, Nimagomeda! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 237 pounds. Lights out! All right, nothing to lose in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. The fighters touch gloves. You ready? All right, so here we go with round one, and when you have what looks like a classic matchup of striker versus grappler, it doesn't always play out that way, but given what these fighters said to us on Thursday, the game plans seem pretty clear. They're very clear game plans, but which one of them is able to implement the game plan most effectively? The grappler will try to get forward, get close, try to secure takedowns. He's even willing to pull guard to make sure that he is in the grappling situation. The striker needs to stay at space, the striker needs to maintain distance and fight behind that beautiful jab he possesses. Oh, strong punch there by Nurmagomedov. That's a pretty good right hand there by your teammate, Khabib Nurmagomedov. You're so worried about the wrestling that when the hands come, you're not expecting it. And Habib lands early and he lands off. Beautiful straight right hand. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. 
John Stout. Nice connection with a punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. Oh, nice jab. Nice shot to the body there. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Switch knee lands to the body. Oh, that's a good right hand. Back and forth we go! Another shot lands upstairs. Push kick there to the body. 26 total strikes have now landed for Khabib Nurmagomedov. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this? Stuff the takedown, no problem. And they separate. Offensive fight, nice job to block the shot there. It's a nice strike there by Nurmago Meta. You're always thinking wrestling when you fight Habib, but you better be very weary of his stand-up. He's developing the skill every single day. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, now gets an underhook to get a more dominant position. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to me. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hands. Right lands. I mean, he's cutting them down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. Nice defense there, huge block. He finds a home for the left hand there. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Going to the body there with the right kick. Nice slip to avoid the left. Single collar tie now. All right, so a good job by him here. He continues to block these shots. Seems to see them coming a mile away. He sees them coming a mile away, and he's blocking. He's rolling and slipping. He's doing a great job. Nice punch lands over the top. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Nurmago Medov gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. Spinning back fist is there. Some blood starting to trickle down in and around that left eye. Hopefully it doesn't affect his vision. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. And they set it. Well, you don't want to say Khabib has fallen in love with his striking, but he certainly is boxing more than he did early on in his UFC career. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. Big kick land. Ooh. Single collar tie there. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. Blocks the shot. Now he touches him with the left. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. And they separate. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Wow, that right punch has been a money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes it. Stop throwing. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last one. Unbelievable to see. These high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. Round two is upon us. Your thoughts on round one, Chip? Round one was a very close round. Both guys had their moments, but nobody has really went out ahead in the race as we go into the second round. Oh, strike attempt to the midsection. It's blocked. Connects with a right. Nice punch, Lance. Oh! 
Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Well, he's certainly keeping busy, DC, connecting with most of the punches he's thrown. I mean, punches in bunches. He's doing a great job. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no. no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Oh, nice slip there. Great head movement overall by this guy defensively tonight. He does a great job of moving his head side to side. He's really mixing up the motion at which he moves. Straight right hand now just misses. Good stick. And both guys really throwing with authority. in the single collar tie. Look at him yank the head and land that beautiful punch in the clinch. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. Beautiful leg kick throw. Making a nice donation to the canvas tonight. Beautiful strike. Just out of the range with that right hand. And they separate. And just misses with that big right hand. Well, a really good second round for him thus far. After a somewhat lackluster first round, he has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Slips the punch nicely there. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. the distance, gets the single collar tie. Ooh, now he's got the tie plumb, Daniel. If you're on the other side, what are you trying to do to get out of this potentially dangerous position? You gotta start digging your shoulder to a side and try to shove it under her. You cannot bend down to try to get out of Muay Thai. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Ooh, big shot, man. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Oh, and he lands yet another strike to the body. Pinpoint placement right underneath the elbow. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Cubby. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand his strike with anybody in the UFC. Well, DC, no denying he's winning this fight, and it's got to feel pretty good if you're a fighter, put in the work, and it all comes together on fight. When it all comes together, nothing feels better to go out there and implement the game plan that you guys have worked on in training camp, and it goes as desired. Nothing feels better. Timing his shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very active. Checks the leg kick. What a punch. Back and forth we go here. Oh, man. Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. All right, single collar tie now. Let us look back at some of the action from that previous round. DC punches in bunches. I mean, over and over, he landed that big punch. And every time he landed it, he got the reaction that he was looking for. His opponent really did start to take notice every time he was loading that strike up. 
All right, next round is now underway. DC, right, any major takeaways ready? after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmakers did a fantastic job when they put these two in the octagon. So even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high-level mixed martial arts. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Nice strike. Oh, knee to the head. Nurmagomedov's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Lands the overhand right. Oh, I love the jab. I know you love the jab. That was a nice one. It's my favorite punch in all the fight. Oh, single collar tie here. Nice straight right lance. A swing and a miss by Nermago Meadow. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Got the single collar tie. Just out of range with that left hook. Oh, an obvious limp there. His leg hurting for certain. Nice punch by Nermago Meta. Oh, collar tie. All right, boy, Ty Clinch. A lot of elbows and knees could be coming from here. We'll see how he chooses to attack. Yeah, it's a very dangerous position, but an advantageous one for the offensive fighter. Watch for the defensive guy to try to break this immediately. Nice body shot there. Oh. Back and forth we go. Punch over the top. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it. Lighten up his opponent left and right. Big left hook coming. It's one. All right, so he lands a jab there. Pretty nicely done, DC. You can really control a fight just knowing how to fight behind your jab. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Dig and kick. Oh, nice combination. Over and over, he's landing a big body kick. Single collar tie now. Nice defense on the single leg takedown. You can tell his work there on that. Go. Right hand on point. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. Nurmagomedov gets back up. No surprise there. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Nice punch there. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. How about that shin? He can't even, he can barely stand. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, chin down. Nice loop at once. Just misses with a left hook there. And there comes the separation now. Nice body kick. 30 seconds to go now. Lands the right hand. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Clean with the right hook. Shot there is blocked. 
Ten seconds to go in the round. Next Where's three rounds in the can will hit it to the championship rounds. All right, now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides, really. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. All right, so the next round is underway. Will it be more of the same? And by that, I mean all of those strikes to the body. You gotta think at some point the opposition is gonna lower that guard or get finished. And that's exactly what he is hoping for. All those great body shots, all that damage he's putting on his opponent will force. And he's hurt bad. Damaging strike there. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Armando Medov's lower jaw is extremely swollen now. Blocks that kick to the body. Lands a nice straight punch there. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. What do you follow up a great punch like this with? I'm excited to see what happens. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he gonna do to follow up? Oh, a single collar tie there. And they separate. And he continues to work the body here. Now he counters with a right hook to the head. Visibly limping here. Straight right is there. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Ooh, what a punch. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. He's done, he's done. Just an absolutely gorgeous shot to spell the end for his opponent. Crowd is absolutely loving it. He gets the near-perfect land. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming, but just the way he drew it up here tonight, saw that little crack of an opening and barged right through it to get the knockout. Get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for all replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliot has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 36 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, Khabib Nikitola All right, so there he is, the man of the hour. What a massive knockout for him to get this win in style tonight. He did everything he needed to do to find the knockout. Now he can celebrate with his family and friends as they earn this spectacular victory.